there and welcome. This is Tina again, telling you more about Chamra Sorting's digital solutions. Today I invite you to join me while we find out more about how to use Chamra Insight as a reporting and monitoring platform. I have invited Johannes Jakobi, one of our digital product managers, to tell me more about the possibilities. Hi Johannes, and thanks for joining us here today. I'm really excited about learning more at Tomra Insight as a reporting and decision-making tool, and I hope that's something that we can look at together today. Hi Tina, thanks for having me, and I'm really excited to talk about Tomra Insight today. It's one of our new solutions. It's a cloud-based infrastructure that allows you to have full transparency of the sorting process. It enables you to have more facts about your process, which provides you a tool for reports, and based on this, also better decision-making. But let's not just talk about what is possible. Let's jump into the system, and since it's web-based and you can access the data from anywhere, anytime, we can just look at data in the system. Let me show you how easily you can log into it. In your web browser, you just, well, with a click of a button, in the best case, you have your data and your account saved. There's an individual account for each user with specific rights. And with a click of a button, you're logged in. When you're logged in, you have a quick overview of all the machines connected and their current status. And it's not just your machines in the plant or in the building that you're at. It can be anywhere. So in this case, here we have some machines that are situated in New Zealand, others from a different business stream that are situated in Belgium and the United States. And you have an overall overview of the machines that are connected, that you have the rights to access. But it's not just this overview, there's more to it. For each specific machine, there's a lot of data available. And I usually put these in three categories. First is the material composition data. It's about what the machine sees. What is the in-feed amount, so how much material sees in the machine? How is the quality? And for some machines, the size distribution. And additional information, specific for each machine. The second category is material distribution. So how is the material distributed across the belt? This has a significant influence on the sorting quality, but I will talk about that later. And last but not least, what does the machine do based on this data? What is the sorting decision? What is the information and the trends on the sorting? So we can combine these different statistics in one report, not just from one machine, but even from several machines, comparing one machine to another, or even from one plant to another. So now we're looking at a report of one of machines. It's one of more than 200 currently connected machines. And we start with the first category, material composition data. So here you have the material composition and trend. It's the amount of material in square meter that the machine detects and classifies in specific material classes over the time period of seven days. The time period is selectable, but let's stick to the seven days here. And you see that there are a lot of peaks. You see that there's a fluctuation. And one of the goals is to show this fluctuation and even it out because most likely you're overrunning your machines at times and do not use the full potential of your machines at other times. Another view on the same data is the relative material composition. It shows you how is, what is the material composed of. You know that here you have, for example, 1,600 square meters of infeed, but what materials compose these 1,600 square meters? So here you have an overview, but let's simplify this a bit. Let's focus on this one material that we want to see. Now we focus on only the good product, Pet Clear Blue. And you see that overall the composition is quite even. So the composition does not change, although you have an overall change in the infeed. To sum all of this up, we have the product composition. So here you just have you have the absolute numbers as, le as well as the relative numbers in one easy format. To sum it up, these statistics are really relevant to understand the input material, like how much material is coming in, what is the quality that you, you possibly can link to your suppliers, and it overall helps you to better run your plant. <laughs> 